Kozlowski gets turned by William Byron. Blaney gets caught up. Gilliland, Truex, Hamlin, and more. All those Fords were struggling to get around Chastain. Who could get around and get that clean air track position first? That's what happened. Ah, we, we, you, oh. just, you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. I mean, it's a parking lot down there. Cars parked everywhere. Blaney out. Big damage on him. Toe link broke on the back. That one's done. Keselowski all wadded up. Gilliland, the black and red car right with him. Uh, Anthony Alfredo there. Reddick, uh, massive damage on him. Thursday night winner, Tyler Reddick. Martin Truex. Eric Jones comes to pit road. So does Kyle Larson. Denny Hamlin made it back to the pit. So did Chris Busher. Well, it just a lot of damage. It just had it. It just always gets to this point as you get to the end of the race. The pushes get harder. Everybody's just throwing caution to the wind to say the heck with it. I'm ah. going to the front. Martin Truex tore it. He's throwing bad right there. Well, Chastain, I mean, he was I'd say he was a lone wolf up there. He was throwing blocks left and right and they were making moves. was Alex Bowman uh, with a push into William Byron that did not go well. But it was the movement in front of them started stacking those guys up. Yeah, when they get when they get to blocking and moving out of line, those those bump drafts just become misaligned and that all that energy going forward, they, they can't stop it and they wind up running into the back of each other misaligned and they wreck just like they did right there. Chase Briscoe, the Mahindra tractors cam as he said stopped. Eric Jones, Ryan Blaney. Here's some uh, audio from William Byron. Yeah, I think we just got crossed up there. Like this, the six and the one were changing lanes a bunch. And I was getting pushed. Yeah, and that's exactly what we, what we just mentioned. So let's take a look at it. Yeah, and, and you're going to see William Byron right here oh we got we got actually all three of those yeah. that's a pretty good all three of those I, i'm glad you hit that and you see alex bowman up the racetrack and then they start zigging and zagging here and well obviously william byron and bowman that's where it ended up but the the movement from the six and the 22 jockeying for position trying to outdo one another to that position of passing chastain that's what stacked all those guys up and got them in trouble those guys were going for it chastain was holding them up you saw the six go to the bottom you saw the 22 go to the outside the race was on and unfortunately those guys behind him this were gives just, you a much better view yeah. right there you see the 24 car just being pushed and sometimes you just you're not aligned and you know you're not lifting and you that car gets to moving around and you hope it works out and it just didn't work out right here we saw this same scenario playing out at the duels the other night when blaney got in a wreck you really can't pin it on anybody it's hard racing everybody going for it but it, when those cars move in front of them it slows the energy down Let's ride with Alex Bowman. He was trying to stay off of him. And you heard him lifting out of the gas. Several times. This probably tells the other part of the story. You're not gonna run three wide that long. Well, we said it several laps ago, right? We both said it. Uh, the, the way that the pushes were coming, it was just a matter of, of time before this happened. And, and with the energy and everything that, that there is right now, it's just too much for the cars to handle to go straight. And that was a classic example of just they, they missed the back bumper of that car. Yeah, when Kozlowski turns. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. If that back, if that left rear quarter panel wasn't curved in a little bit, I mean, it, it went right with the curvature of the left rear quarter panel. Ross Chassain and Brandon McReynolds did a phenomenal job of keeping those guys behind him. Had he slipped up one time and missed a block, he'd have been right in the middle of that. All right, let's do this uh, next replay in real time.
Chase Briscoe. The Mahindra tractor cam. Wow, that, that was days of thunder right there. I mean, it, it, it's it's just a typical super speedway wreck that happened at the front of the pack and at the end of the straightaway. <laughs> and there's just nowhere to go and nothing to do. You just hope you're not damaged as bad as everybody else. Now the driver's not just there along for the ride. Let's watch Daniel Suarez. The finger caught in the spokes. If that thing he he turned around on you. Good on the throttle too, he was, yep. he was wheeling it. That one got his wrist. Yeah, he's that he's, one got his wrist. He grabbed his hand. Yeah, he, a tough Ryan. week for Ryan Blaney. Thursday night and Monday night. Joey Logano. You see how quick they want to get their hands off the wheels with these rack and pinion steerings, Kevin. Tell us how much stronger that is than what it used to be. Yeah, and that's the reason that you see a lot more of these guys take their hands off the wheel because it, the rack will just jerk your hands out, and if your thumbs are in there, it'll break them. We saw Ryan Blaney grab his wrist there. Eric Jones, he held onto the wheel, but he holds the wheel with his thumbs up on top of the wheel. A lot of guys do not. They hold their thumb around the wheel, and the spokes will literally rip your, rip your thumbs off and break them. Yeah, I think it was his wrist. It could have been his thumb. I mean, to your point, usually is. That's why it hooks your wrist. Yeah, and a lot of times when that wheel is spinning around like that, it sometimes it'll